in an apartment building. A voice shouted, Behold my sister. Let's sit down and discuss a bit. Okay. The homeowner replied angrily, No, no, get out of here right now. The door is closed. The female Li Ji Na has no choice but to walk past the pile of thrown things. Explain. Sister, please understand. Give me a moment to win this match. I have the capital to pay your rent. The homeowner was annoyed and scolded her to get out right away. Suddenly heard her announce USA bins. Ji Na panicked. I'm done with the game. My house. I only rely on the prize money of this tournament. But now the prize money is gone. But my place of residence is gone. The computer screen. Comments started coming in. Scolded Ji Na. What are you playing? Stupid pretty stupid game can't stand it. Ji Na bent down in pain. Pick up the painfully thrown items mentioned above. This life. Is there any streamer more pathetic than this Ji Na? Ji Na suddenly stopped in front of a reel. She was startled. Is this her thing? The reel was just opened. Then a feather appeared. Ji Na touched the feather and see the scene change. A guy standing on the side of the boat. Appeared in the wind and rain. Ji Na threw the scroll startled and gasped. Oh, what did I just see? And what is this? Ji Na came closer and read the words on the scroll. Two clans fighting to the death. As long as this feather still exists. We still have the fate of meeting each other. Gun Lake. Isn't that where my hometown is? Lin Ki Town. Chuang Lan Gun Ho District. In the evening Ji Na returned to her hometown. She opened the scroll Ra said she had worked hard to get here. Why do I have this? Plus what happened? The girl holding the feather thought to herself that she had led Dao all the way here. If you do that, you will always be able to eat everything. Ji Na standing in front of a lake. Took off Ra's coat. Then jumped into the lake and dived below. Seeing the boat in front of. Ji Na was surprised. There is indeed a boat again. It's exactly the same as what happened before Kia. Anyway, just go in and take a look. Ji Na was startled when she stepped inside the boat. Huh, obviously the. The boat was sunk but water did not flood inside. Strange. Suddenly a chest attracted Ji Na's attention. This chest in front of you looks very valuable. Surely the inside is full of treasures. Surely God finds me pitiful. Should lead me to the treasure here. Here, treasure shoes. Orange to ma 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 ma. Ji Na opened the chest raw. Saw a boy inside. Then screamed. The flashlight rolled down. She thought tremblingly. Tim almost jumped out. Who would lock a child's body in here? Suddenly there was a noise that startled her. Ji Na. As soon as I turned around. I saw a monster screaming loudly chasing me. Ji Na screamed in terror and ran away. She hid in a corner in fear thinking. She was the same age as Wa. Should I leave my body in this place? At this moment there was a voice in her ear. Don't be afraid. That was the boy's hand from the chest patting her shoulder. Ji Na mumbled in fear. God above. The boy said to her. Don't be afraid. Come here. Then the boy's hands hugged Ji Na tightly. The boy's lips touched Ji Na's lips. A beam of light appeared. The boy turned into a grown man, looked at the bow tie and smiled. Ji Na was startled. What happened? The guy happily said why way. You finally came to find me. Ji Na pushed the raw guy shyly and asked. Why way? Did you get the wrong person? The young man quickly explained that I was not mistaken. Why way Ta Le Than? This is the prince of the unknown family Kai Le Than. Suddenly Le Than noticed. A monster attacking. Then he waved his sword and shouted. Be careful. Ji Na screamed in fear. Le Than protected her and told her to hide here. Don't run around. Waiting for me to clean up these messes. Le Than stood in front of Wai Wei. Confronting the approaching monsters. Ji Na stood aside. Looking at Li's back. I thought to myself. What's going on? I clearly never met this person before but. Star looked at his figure. Look again. So familiar. Ji Na suddenly noticed something under her feet. She sat down and happily said are these their scales. Even though I'm not an expert. But they are pure gold. She didn't notice that. Behind me there is a beast approaching. Le then Nian Ra shout why way be careful. Le then comes to slash. That beast. Saw Ji Na still frantically picking up gold. Then he yelled at her for the sake of gold and didn't care about the danger?
The demons flocked more and more. He thought to himself that this was not good. They came in more and more numbers. I have to leave here quickly. That's it. Li then quickly ran to pick up Ji Na and said. Why Wei let's leave here quickly. Ji Na was picked up and quickly said. Wait, I haven't picked up all the gold yet. Li then ho. It's not okay. Hurry up. Ji Na groaned regretfully. Dear gold, we will meet again. A light flashed. Li then pulled Ji Na out of the boat. Ji Na looked at according to Li then aesthetics. Despite robbing her of the opportunity to get rich. But at least he saved me. The boy from before was it him? So did it change him? Li then hugged Ji Na's waist. And flew. Out of the water. Ji Na asked in surprise. Floating stars. So amazing. How could you do that? Li then hugged her and landed on the ground and asked. Why Wei? Do you really not remember anything? Ji Na timidly replied. Actually I'm not Wai Wei. Li then smiled and said I wouldn't recognize the wrong person. Si Ra. She really doesn't remember anything. Ji Na asked him curiously. You said you are from the Ko Kai family. Right? Li then replied yes. Ji Na told me that I had read the Sun Kai Sutra. So I know a little about Bo Kai. I heard that the family is Ko Kai. Every time you sleep 125 minutes deep, you can come back to life. Are you one of them? Can also perform magic spells. Like just now. What kind of magic is this? Li then thoughtfully replied. If she knew about the Vo Kai family. So everything is easier to explain. But this time it's different. She also knows. Only after I kissed her did she become like this. Therefore, to maintain this state in the future. Me and her. Every day we need to give each other a kiss. Ji Na was startled when she heard that and blushed and said. What are you talking about? Ji Na listened to Li then and hugged her. What did I scream? You told me I had to kiss you once every day. Don't think you can do whatever you want after picking me up. Li then saw Ji Na react like that. Then quickly explained to her. No, I didn't mean it that way. Ji Na frowned and said it's okay to have her own thoughts. AI admits its guilt. It's so suspicious. Then Ji Na turned into a detective and asked if he was right. You dressed up and sat there. Right? Want to play like a young lady? If you have nothing, you can repay with your own body. Li then quickly pulled Tae Ji Na to explain. That's not the case. I know it's hard for you to accept. But if you don't do that, I will return to my child form. If so, I will. Ji Na quickly pushed Li then raw and screamed. I know it's hard for me to accept, but still stubbornly wanted to possess me. Don't dream. You act alone with this play of yours. After saying that, Ji Na immediately ran away. Li then quickly shouted Wai Wei. He frowned and muttered, If we cannot maintain our state like this, when a beast appears, how can I protect her? But Wai Wei she has changed too much. Wai Wei ran away. Li then looked and said ah so it's that direction. He immediately used light attack. Chasing after her, Ji Na ran for a while. Panting and thinking, running so far, he probably won't be able to catch up. What just happened is truly unbelievable. Could it be that I'm dreaming? Li then suddenly landed next to Wai Wei and said. It's not a dream. Wai Wei exclaimed. How did you find me? Suddenly heard movement from behind. Li then looked back, and a bird monster was running towards him. They chased Theo all the way here. Ji Na asked him in fear. Is this still one of them? Li then replied holding the sword. Not at all. They are different from those in the water that are so fast. They must be extremely hungry. Li then rushed forward to fight. Then told. Not to be afraid. I'm here. Ji Na shouted. No you lied to me. Surely these monsters were arranged by you. Obviously because of his appearance. Then they appeared. Li then was not happy and asked her if she still doubted me. Suddenly Ji Na pointed back and shouted. Oh what Kia? Li then is back? If you don't see anything. Then turn back and ask her what she just saw. Why? But where Ji Na stood there was no one left. Li then panicked. Hurry up and find him. Wei ran in that direction. Damn she can't be alone right now. Looking for Li then and shouting why Wei don't run anymore. Her current situation is very dangerous. Wai Wei hides on the side of aesthetics. I don't have a mold. Some wild beasts. That's because of you. You're the one who's causing danger. Now as long as he leaves I'm safe. 
Suddenly a beak touched her shoulder from behind. The next morning, Little Li then woke up and yawned, seeing Ji Na's face in front of her. Tiu Li then asked again, What she means is just stay with me. Then you won't have nightmares anymore. Ya Na replied, Could it be just a coincidence? Little Li God of Aesthetics? This is not a coincidence. Ji Na accidentally stepped on the escalator. Ji Na felt her face itch and shook Tay. Li then turned around and kicked blankets. Obnoxious mosquitoes avoid raw. My gold. It's all mine. She immediately put her legs on Lathan. Lathan frowned seeing that. I think this is really my medicine. No star without any appearance. Of Miss Ku of those years? Lathan took Ji Na Ra's hand and sighed. Wake me up. The sun is up high. Wake up quickly. Don't sleep anymore. Ji Na is still immersed in the beautiful dream of Ji Na. This time you can make a fortune. He 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 Le then silently whispered. All her money is gone. Ji Na was startled when she heard that. She jumped up and shouted huh. What are you doing? Just early in the morning disturbing someone's beautiful dream. Le then looked pitiful and yelled at her. It's really not my robe. Ji Na stood up, put on her coat and muttered. It's not easy not to have nightmares. But he woke me up and looked so cute. And Li then was on the bed sulking. Suddenly Ji Na recognized Ra. Oh wait. Every night I was being chased in my dreams. And last night it was because of you. What do I see? Ji Na looking at me. Li then spoke up. Why are you staring at me? Ji Na approached and asked Li then. I asked him last night if he did anything to me. More. Why do you always call me January or February or something? Li then explains. Not January, February. Is the physician way in the physician my knock? Is my family member? Also mine. Ji Na curiously asked what was his. Li then glanced at his tangled hair and hid his saliva. Ji Na's wrinkled clothes. I don't dare to look straight at my lover. Her looks are very similar to hers. Moreover, only she can wake me up. Ji Na heard that, thinking. Looking at his appearance doesn't look like he's tricking me. So, according to the novel, I am the next life of Wai Wei. Star. Le God is turned. Big paradox makes it spin said. Sure enough it's still more convenient to grow up. Ji Na blushed and told him this. I have to live stream later. You can't come over here. Don't bother me. Le then is curious what a live stream is. Ji Na replied just leave it. You don't need to care. Le then mumbled so impatiently. Ji Na opened the live and said good afternoon everyone. The other day I returned to my hometown and felt a bit nostalgic. So today I will play the old version of Mario. Let's chat with Nam Hao. Li then was extremely curious and thought to himself to talk to someone. The comment below and asked. What was the livestream incident yesterday? Hard fans present. Ji Na said smiling. Hi hi thank you everyone for taking care of me. No Sao love you guys. What's wrong with comments? Did I miss something? If Ji Na doesn't want to say it, don't ask anymore. Le heard that she loves you and was startled. She was talking to AI so she said she loved you too. He rushed in and looked at Ji Na's computer and shouted, Hey what are you doing? The comment below said, Marshall C. A. Han Fuck. Whose boyfriend is this? Eight things have surfaced. Ji Na questioned him, Why did you come here? Should I tell you not to bother me? Li then asked again why not let me come here. Here, it's clear that no one is telling anyone who loves you. Where is the cat's whiskers? Ra. Ji Na scolded my manager. After all, it's not him. Comment below more than cats fighting. The fork next to his brother. Is it a special effect? It keeps spinning. Is this guy cosplaying? Somewhat handsome. Gina has escaped being single. Who is this handsome CA? Ji Na quickly explained. He's not my boyfriend. It's just that yesterday he followed me home. Li then couldn't help but ask her curiously. Who are you talking to anyway? What is this again? Why do we not know these words? That's not right. I know half of Ji Na fired you. Go over to Kia and play. Don't come here and influence me. The comments below are all talking. That fork is real. It's not an effect. Cosplay is quite interesting and the conversation is so elegant. What did I just see? Kia's fork happened to come in. Is this the police officer doing magic? Ji Na called me right away. Everyone seemed to really enjoy his magic show. That, or you should do it again. Li then was puzzled and asked again about the magic trick Ji Na showed. 
That's the fork you just played with. Lagarde smiled. It's just a little bit of magic. He said and then he snapped his hands. Created countless butterflies. Ji Na called him he saw the comments and they were all praising him. Are you nervous? What? Ji Na pointed to the explanation screen and explained that these were the ones. Everyone is praising him for being handsome. Everyone's comments are so helpful. I want to send it for you all to see. Marshall C.A. Hanfu is really good at following good guy Gina. Yet she has a boyfriend who is a magician. So handsome. In three minutes I will let everyone see. Le is surprised. I'm saying these words were written by someone else. Could this be a magic mirror? Can talk to everyone. Na replied almost like that. Everyone will see us through the screen. Suddenly she realized Ra. The number of followers increased so much. Livestream platform announcement Dear Ya Na. Your livestream has been suggested. Your livestream's likes skyrocketed. And you have been selected to the homepage of entertainment. Life is looking forward to the livestream appearing. Your sharper comment below explodes so close. So handsome. Going to the ancient Nam main page. I will nominate you as an ancient style mage. I ate too much. Masterati sent me. Look at this beautiful CA handsome girl who matches so well. Ji Na happily shouted at me but she's already on the home page. Those who made it to the front page. They all have a monthly income of several hundred thousand. It's true that they've picked up a money tree. She rushed to hug Ladan. But he pushed her away and said. That she was a woman. Why would she be so careless? Behind the magic mirror. Someone is looking. Ji Na led Ladan to the new building and said. This is the place. Peace agreement. Once again I want to live in a new house. This area is quite big. After that. Go on your own and be careful not to get lost. Ladan landed one door to the east. Two door northeast garage. These two dog kennels are both direct in and out. Just now pass through two doors at the entrance to the building on the ground floor. Ji Na asked in confusion. East, west, north, south, which side? Why do you even remember the dog cage? Li then replied to her. As long as it's a place we pass by, we'll remember it. When Ji Na heard that, she was surprised and exclaimed. Oh my god, is it a map that runs on rice? It's true that you should go work in the Sao Duck area. Li then smiled, because I need to protect your safety. Not just this sub area. Terrain here, we've been checking recently. Said then he looked around again. When Ji Na heard that, she was stunned. Ra, he was really serious about protecting himself. But in the end, what kind of person is he? Did those monsters catch up to this place? Entered Ji Na's room and immediately told Li Dan. First put the suitcase there. Li then put it down and breathe a sigh of relief. Ji Na give me the things. Go take a shower and change into clean clothes. Li then replied yes. Li then went into the bathroom. Then Ji Na checked her belongings. She packed her toner and lotion. Suddenly the picture scroll appeared. She secretly thought this was the picture scroll that day. Discovered. That day. Because when I opened the picture book. I saw. Those scenes. Perhaps this picture scroll. Is the important key to Lathan's identity. But he wants to be with me right now. It's because you need to rely on yourself. To maintain his mature appearance. And even mistook herself for Wai Wei. Remembering her first appearance. He met Ji Na and said why way she came to find me. So we still shouldn't talk about the scroll for him. Observe it for a while longer. Thinking so. She immediately hid it on the bookshelf. At this moment Li then went raw. Ji Na asked him if he had finished showering. He nodded yes. Why do you keep looking? At me. Ji Na laughed so seductively. Li then quickly covered it and shouted. Rude don't look. Suddenly he shrunk. Little Li then sighed and turned smaller again. Ji Na rubbed her head. He said, the little girl wearing your clothes really fits her very well. Little Li then frowned. Who is your little friend? I'm over 100 years old. If Ji Na teases you, you're still a little friend. That's right, little friend. I have finished preparing the living room. From now on, don't arbitrarily run to my sister's bed to sleep again. No, I'll spank you. Tiula then nodded reluctantly yes. Ji Na sleeps at night and has nightmares. Don't come here. Help. Ji Na being chased by monsters. Running. Still being an arrow shot at her. Startling her awake. Cosmetic. 
didn't forget to take her medicine today. But she had a nightmare. Lately she hasn't had nightmares because of him. So she secretly took a pillow to the living room. Said in a low voice. Maybe he's sleeping soundly? Little Liv then stood behind the door and asked her. What are you doing coming to my room in the middle of the night? Ji Na screamed in surprise. Little Liv then said. Don't cry anymore at night to disturb people. Ji Na to question him. What are you doing standing here at night when you can't sleep? He replied that he heard movement in the room. She felt uneasy. Should I wake up and see if she's having a nightmare? Ji Na replied. What a nightmare dream. Seeing many monsters chasing and killing. The next day, Little Le God started drawing a map. This is the northern wisteria garden with two lakes. Ji Na came over and asked if he was drawing a map of Sao. Little Le then replied. Last night Tung observed the surrounding situation. Ji Na laughed at him. What air is this? Looked up on the phone and Ra. Li then was surprised at the phone. Ji Na took Ra's phone to show off. This is the magic mirror of modern society. Inseparable object. Li then told her. Oh so you take me out to buy it. Ji Na replied. Just act like you're going to buy bread. Before making money. Don't dream. Little Li God muttered selfishly. Ji Na rubbed his head and said. For now. She doesn't have enough finances to buy a phone. As for the other thing, I can do it for you. I took little Li then to the children's clothing store. When it comes down to it, just choose freely. Little Li then frowned. This is the tourist shop you want to talk about. These are all clothes for children. Ji Na asked the little god Li. Aren't you a child? Tiu Li then grimaced. I have clothes and don't need Ji Na to tease me. Your Kia outfit. It's still dripping on that balcony right now. Maybe you want to wear my dress. This store. There won't be any more stores. I slept very well last night and was in a pretty good mood. Don't you want me to spend money? Tiu Li then asked again. What she means is just stay with me. Then you won't have nightmares anymore. Ya Na replied. Could it be just a coincidence? Little Le God of Aesthetics? This is not a coincidence. Le God pulled Canada away. She asked him. Where do you want to take me? Tiu Li then led her into Nam's clothing store. I want these. The color of the outfit is not bad. Out reception staff. The little guy looks so adorable. Are you choosing the right clothes for dad? Little Li then frowned. I'm not a little friend. Ji Na patted little Li's head right. So sorry. Please help our little friend choose an outfit. Little Li then was annoyed. Don't take advantage of me. Ji Na teased me without saying anything. The staff asked what you needed. Li then immediately replied that Sao's body was 5 meters long. Chest 3 meters, waist 2 meters, shoulder 1 meter 5. After listening, the staff converted the height to M85. Shoulder width 50, waist 68. That's the standard body of a male model. Tiu Li then was proud of course. The staff took raw an outfit. The size of this set is suitable. Let me help you pack it. Tiu Li then immediately stepped forward I want to try. The staff was surprised do you want to try? Ji Na whispered. Children often want to wear adult clothes. I'll take the kid to try it out and pay later. Staff nodded. Oh I understand I understand. Dressing room. Ji Na looked at Little Li then and asked him to try on clothes. Why did you drag me here? Little Li then replied. I'm not a child. Why don't I try? Please try to help me. Ji Na said as she helped him change clothes. What do you say you are? The prince is not reincarnated. Do you really consider yourself a prince? Do you still want to find a maid to change your clothes for me? Tiu Li then smiled. If you want me to change myself, that's fine too. He went up and kissed her big. Then asked if this was satisfactory now. Ji Na was startled. Why did you suddenly kiss me? If seen by others, he suddenly turned into an adult. Aren't you afraid of being forced to do experiments? He smiled. She was worried that I would be taken away. Ji Na was startled. WHO worries about you? If discovered by others, then I still have to deal with the consequences. You go out. Aesthetic. What is whether want to turn back? You should also inform me first. Because. There is an advertisement outside. Super tournament. AI can also be a rising star. Ji Na immediately looked happy when she saw the ad. Dad yes. Isn't this the youngest shareholder of Liet Vu Lai? I didn't expect to be so handsome. Li then blindfolded. She asked again which handsome man she wanted to meet. 
Ji Na frowned. Why are you hiding our shareholders? Li then confidently asked how my body is. Ji Na's aesthetics are so handsome. She praised him for reducing his extraordinary style. Hearing Ji Na praise Li, he was startled and whispered. What did she say? At this moment the staff stepped forward to tell the beauty. Your husband is here. So handsome. Ji Na shyly said he was not my husband. There's no need to be embarrassed. The staff replied. Ji Na confusedly explained that it wasn't that. Please take me to pay. Li then suddenly held Ji Na's hand and said why way. Why way. Haven't heard that sentence from her in a long time. That was the first time we met. She told me those words. She remembered everything happened Sao Wai Wei. Ji Na held her head that day we met. In her mind appeared the memory of her praising Li Dan. The young man really has extraordinary manners and grace. Li then, then blushed and asked. She wears rough fabric like this. Maybe you want to tease me? Wai Wei replied that Wai Wei has never lied before. Woke up Ji Na and Ra asked what have you done to me again? Li then was startled and called Wai Wei. She immediately shouted I told you so. I'm not her. Ji Na turned around and said angrily. Go find your doctor. She left Li then there in silence and left. Although Li then didn't understand why. Sao Ji Na was angry but still chased Theo to call her. Ji Na. Ji Na listened to my explanation Li then grabbed Tae Ji Na. Ji Na got angry and scolded Ra. There's nothing to explain. Before Y and Moon was short. Y Wei Long also said. I don't love NHA as much as she does. Are you going to say that again? Why would I buy clothes for you? It's better than buying it yourself. It's even better for me. Ji Na accidentally stepped on the escalator. People. She lost her balance and was about to fall. Making her scared. Li then saw that and immediately shouted carefully. Then pulled Ji Na's hand. Pulled Ji Na into his arms and asked. Are you okay? The feather from her pocket? Ji Na was carried by the breeze between two people. Both of them looked at the feather blankly thinking. This is that feather. Ji Na and Le Then's hands both touched the feather. A dimension opened up inside space. Why vowing to be rafting on the river? She glanced ahead and thought. There's probably a shore ahead. Right? Above Le Then is being chased by a group of people. Don't let him escape. Le Then jumped off the cliff. Fell onto Wai Wei's raft. Told the pursuers. Chase above. Based on you guys. Do you want to chase me away? Wai Wei saw Lid then and was surprised who you are. Why did you jump on my raft? Above. The people of the Vu Kai Duong Palace clan said. If you want to run. There's no such simple thing. Each arrow shot down one by one. Causing Wai Wei to be scared. Causing the raft to wobble. Wai Wei was shot in the shoulder. Fell into the water in pain. Li then worriedly shouted for the lady. Wai Wei slowly sank into the water thinking. Am I about to die? Saw Kia's group continue to draw their bows. Li then immediately drew his sword. Beat them away. Then jumped into the water. Pull up Wei's clothes. Air temperature let her see. Wai Wei opened her eyes raw. Li then smiled so good you're still alive. Waiting for Kia's pursuers to retreat I'll take you up. Please try a little. Wai Wei asked how you can breathe under. Li then replied that from now on she could too. Wai Wei asked him why. Who are you? Li then smiled and replied I am Li Dan. Wai Wei was surprised to hear that. You are the prince of the non-starter tribe. Wai Wei just moved. Causing the arrow wound to sting. Li then worriedly asked if she was okay. Wai Wei was tortured by pain and blood loss. Causing her to faint. Li then was extremely panicked. Miss. Back to reality. Ji Na also hugged her shoulders and cried out. Li then worriedly asked Ji Na if she was okay. Ji Na asked if he was Wai Wei just now. Li then replied yes. Ji Na mumbled. I can also breathe underwater. So am I really the reincarnation of Wei? Ji Na muttered. No wonder you always call me Wai Wei. You mistook me for her. Li then immediately asked her. If she wasn't the moon. How could she wake me up? He said holding the feather in Ji Na's hand. Moreover she always carries it with her. This is the token that I gave you that year. Ji Na, hearing that, thinking about the token is right. Even though it was the first time seeing a shipwreck. Or see the memories from before. It's all because of this feather. 
Ji Na is curious but just now I saw you being chased. They are AI. Li then replied that he was from the Ko Kai clan. Ji Na was surprised to hear that. Huh but aren't you a prince of the Wu Kai clan? Li then smiled bitterly and answered one or two sentences that he couldn't say clearly. Ji Na heard Li then said that he couldn't say clearly. Then pondered. Then smiled and said his guess. I know that you are fighting for the throne. With other princes. But plan 7 failed and he was pursued. Li then thinks her imagination is really rich. Ji Na continued to say. Otherwise. How could you be chased and killed by people from your own clan? Only because your clan can sleep for 125 hours and then wake up. So besides Mr. Ra. There must still be people from the other Koi clan still alive. Is that right? Li then replied yes. I just don't know where they are. In the past. I was homeless before. Was often bullied by the Vu tribe people. Bullied and whipped. They despised. I don't know where this cruel guy came from. Even standing is not steady. Do not think that my father accepts you. Then you are of our clan. Is your mother having an affair with someone else outside? Was discovered by your father. Right? Claiming to be a noble royal concubine of a noble family. There's someone else outside. Li then immediately pulled Kia down and beat you for talking nonsense. I don't allow you to say my mother. My mother was murdered. Kia kept saying it. I kept saying it. AI knows. Are you a spy sent from the Kokai clan? Or not? Li then punched a gun and scolded. I AI let you talk nonsense. Everyone around shouted the name of this crazy boy. Quickly pull him out. Get out the foreigner causing trouble. Drive him away quickly get out that traitor Kia. Li then saw that and got angry. I think the Koi clan is cold-blooded and heartless towards our entire family. The martial race is also nothing. I Li then will endure. Will endure all hardships to take this revenge. Then why Wei help me give me a place to stay. At night Li then is practicing his sword. Why Wei go out. Asked Li then why are you still here practicing swords. Li then ran over and asked what was wrong with her face. Fall into a bag of flour. Wai Wei replied that today is a full moon day. Please come and try the moon cake that I made. La, you're so nervous. Moon cake is the full moon already. Wai Wei smiled. Oh sure, your family must miss you very much. Li then replied maybe so. But every day since my mother passed away. Our life only consists of practicing. Eating and going to sleep. As for me, that's a very distant word. Wai Wei immediately held Li then Bayo's hand. So from now on, this is my brother's house. Escape sign. Brisket. Li then told the Na people that I was a prince of the Ko Kai clan. But I'm nothing like a prince. Not even as good. Live a civilian life at Wai Wei's house anymore. Ji Na recalls Li then saying. Your house is my house. I thought to myself. Ra. His only home. From the beginning he approached me. Protect me. All because he mistook me for Wai Wei. Li then continued to tell. Later, when he met people of the Ko Kai clan again. It's definitely a storm of blood and rain. So I gave the feather to Wai Wei. And promised her that. We will find and protect her well. But my strength is exhausted. Finally reluctantly having to sleep for so many years. Now this feather is in her hand. So no matter what. I will definitely protect you. Ji Na was dumbfounded and then angrily said. Saying it over and over again is because of Wai Wei. Don't forget we promised three things. I will cover your accommodation. And you have to be my bodyguard and assistant to help me livestream. You were originally supposed to protect me. Home. Oh. After saying that, Ji Na angrily left. Li then looked at Theo aesthetically at her. She seemed a bit angry. Evening. Ji Na told fans it was 10 o'clock. Just broadcast today. Everyone sleep well. Bye bye. Li then also waved goodbye. Bye bye. Ji Na turned off the live stream system and breathed a sigh of relief. The work is done. Li then contemplated. Turned into Ra in her fan name. All have small orange letters. Because her name has the word stars in it. Ji Na replied but mainly because I like to eat oranges. Pair God recognize Ra how could I not think of Ra. Wai Wei also likes to eat. So she also likes to eat grapes. Ji Na was angry and it was Wai Wei. She stood up and said she didn't like me going to sleep. Li then asked her if she slept in her room today. Ji Na looked at him and asked what if she didn't. 
Linden replied but she would have nightmares. What she dreamed about. It was definitely the scene that Wai Wei saw that year. So when you're next to me. That she can go to sleep with peace of mind. Jean Na shouted angrily. My nightmares are my own. It's not yours. Wei said that and she slammed the door. Making Linden think. Why is she angry? Jean Na lay on Feng's bed. Pouting and thinking. That person looks like Wei. Feels very strange. But I received protection thanks to her. So I feel very lucky. But why do I feel a little sad? Night. Linden spoke softly. She must have been sleeping recently. There are definitely other clans. Otherwise, Ji Na wouldn't suddenly see it. Like that in the past. Said it Linden sneaked out. I just left Ji Na. Also opened the door Ra wondered. It's 2 a.m. Why is he still out? There must be something shady. At the park behind the mountain. Linden held the sword and looked around and realized Ra. Was there. Ji Na ran Theo wondering where he ran to. Suddenly I don't see it anymore. Why don't you take the main road when you go to the park at midnight? Suddenly a light appears. Ji Na wonders if it's over there. Ji Na gingerly hides behind a tree looking at Lidan. Lidan speaks get out. I know she's going follow me. Ji Na going raw asked. Do you know I'm going Theo? That's why I intentionally ran so fast. I just saw it all. Lidan sighed okay. That's it. Don't hide it from her anymore. I discovered what Ra was afraid of when she saw it. That's why I buried them. Ji Na ran to ask if it was true. They all chased here. Linden comforted her not to be afraid. The amount is very small I can handle. Ji Na thought emotionally. Then he really protected me. She blushed and said okay. Looks like you're dedicated to your work. Linden pointed at the tree and asked. But do you know what tree this is? Ji Na replied. Have you ever eaten apricot skin? Tomorrow, I'll call you a cup of apricot fruit tea. Linden looked at the tree and said, Isn't this the evil liver tree? Ji Na was curious what that was. Linden replied, Do you remember the archers who chased me? Archers of the Ko Kai clan. They are also immortal and they also cannot have children. Is based on the use of ling wood as the evil liver tree. To ensure the heart beats normally. Na was startled when he heard that. They are by our side. Linden replied, so she could be in danger at any time. Ji Na asked worriedly, how can you still fight when the beast comes? And the archery group looks very powerful. Linden smiled and said that's not really true. They couldn't find me, as fast as it was. I was woken up early by her. Based on Theo 125 sleeping soundly, there is still at least half a year left. They just woke up. Ji Na exclaimed oh. Half a year is not long since Ra is not long. But what should I do with those scoundrels? I'm okay because I still have you by my side. But they harm others. Then it's troublesome. Linden replied that the martial beast was a cursed creature. They only know how to chase the Theo clan without starting anything. They can't come out into the sunlight. Ji Na exclaims that this setting is like a vampire. But I am not a non-starter. Why are they chasing me? Linden replied that she had made a lifelong promise with me. He also has the ability to breathe underwater like that of the non-starter race. That's why they chased after her. She saw this feather as our token. Ji Na frowned when she heard that. Duong Duong is a prince of the non-starter clan. The token can only hold a single feather. That's too stingy. After all, it must be a gold ring. Just finished speaking. Then Linden pulled Tae Ji Na and shouted to run quickly. The martial beast is here. Ji Na run according to what you said. Quickly draw your sword and go away. Linden replied that there were too many of them. Ji Na panicked when she heard that. I can't even fight. It's gone. It's gone. Won't I be eaten by animals? Linden burst out laughing when he heard that. Ji Na scolded angrily. You tricked me. Linden retaliates who told you to criticize me for being stingy. The first day I met you. She was only worried about picking up gold and now she's also dancing with gold rings. What a money hungry little brat. Ji Na spread her hands and pretended she had a ring. Saying what do you understand? Such a light feather. How can it compare with a gold ring? That's a promise to be together forever. Linden asked again. Why? Ji Na replied of course. Not before he fell asleep and went to seek medical advice. Found out that place was empty. It's definitely because there's no rain. People don't trust you. 
Linden mumbled, so I owe you a rain. I remember. The next day at 11.30, Ji Na stretched and sat up to sleep, until she woke up comfortably and, she just woke up, then saw little Le God looking at her with an angry look. Ji Na was startled and jumped up asking what he was doing. It's early in the morning but, little Le God immediately told me last night, she said before I fell asleep and went to find her, but found the place empty. I have never told you these things. Ji Na asked sweating. So what? Little Le God Fung pouted. I know you're still hiding things between us. You don't trust me, right? Ji Na sighed and told me. I really don't trust you. I know you're being chased by someone else. So he escaped from Wei's house that night, waiting for you to come back. The lunar eclipse Ra was right halfway up the mountain looking at you. And her father was also affected by him, leading to the loss of life. Tiu Lo was surprised. She said she was looking at me at that time. Ji Na nodded. That's right. She didn't want to meet him at all. Little Le God couldn't believe it. So you both don't believe me. Ji Na explained. At first I really didn't dare to trust him. But I see that you are truly dedicated to being a bodyguard. So I tell you now. Then you can also tell me. Why did you grow up in the Vu clan? But was chased and killed by the non-starter tribe. Tiu Le then replied if she had recovered her memory. I should have known why you didn't trust me. Little Le God again. Ask even if I say it one more time. Then she won't believe what. Ji Na told him. I don't know those memories. It's always when he kisses your lips that it appears. How can you know everything at once? Little Le is curious. So what if you see all the memories? Will you trust me? Ji Na was about to answer me. When there was a knock on the door. She jumped up and went out the door. It seemed like someone was knocking on the door so I went to open the door. Little Le then frowned. This smell. Is a hunter. Outside came the sound of knocking on the door. Ji Na and the little Le God curiously looked at Ra. Ji Na looked at the little Le God and said suspiciously. Maybe you were wrong. Any smell can be clearly smelled at the door. Normally I wear perfume. I don't see any reaction from him. Little Le then replied. Downstairs. Cutting the grass. He could also smell the grass. Ji Na asked with some confusion. But it wasn't him who said it. The archer only appeared for at least half a year. Suddenly remembered something. Little Le then immediately snapped his hands and said. I almost forgot. Hunters are not like them. The eternal hunter chases after the originless race. Their next generation will inherit their wishes. So even though that great war. The non-starter tribe sleeps soundly. Then the hunter will still protect the non-starter tribe. Little Le God said with a thoughtful face. If it's really them then it's troublesome. The man outside knocked on the door and said in an urgent voice. Is Miss Ji Na home? Inside she quickly replied oh. At this point, she turned around and whispered to the little god Le. So Kai is equal to you now run away. Little Le then next to him still spoke calmly. He can find you here. Then running is of no use. I don't want to be a coward. Outside, the man's voice spoke again. The lady said nah. She hurriedly ran. Come here come here. Get into a prepared position. She did not forget to remind little Levan. I'm opening the door. Can you? Little Levan gave a thumbs up to show he was ready to rest assured. The door gradually opened. Edge. Tiu Levan started to get nervous. Really a hunter. Suddenly little Levan grabbed the corner of her shirt and pulled down Jina. She was pulled by his pull and almost fell. What are you doing? The man carrying a bouquet of flowers spoke up. Miss G Na. This is the cheetah fur background flower given to you. The door slowly opened. Inside was a scene. Intimately, Le then kissed G Na's lips. His eyes glanced sharply at the uninvited person. The man suddenly blushed and explained in confusion. Miss G Na. Sorry to bother you. This is a gift from leopard fur for you. Please sign it. Her face was as red as a tomato and she said in confusion. No don't bother. Things are not as you think. Right now. Le then could not help but be shocked by what had just happened. So fast and yet it disappeared. After confirming the correct receipt. Said the man who quickly left. Wishing Lady G Na a happy life. Throat feels blocked. She really wanted to explain the situation just now. It's really not what you think. The person who quickly left. She cried silently in her heart. What a shameful scene this is. 
He will definitely for that. My life is very chaotic. Li the next to him looked serious and thought. Why did it disappear? The anger has no place to vent. She angrily turned around and scolded Li Dan. He said he was a hunter. My image has been destroyed by you. He denied saying there was no reason. After opening the door, the smell disappeared. Just now definitely was. There are hunters nearby. She said, frowning. You're hallucinating. Yes. Sometimes I also feel the phone vibrate very much. Actually, there is no. Mr. Din Nin said it is impossible for the hunter to manage CA mock. Therefore, everyone will have a special smell of orange wood. I won't smell it wrong. You give up on this stubbornness of yours. Okay I won't argue with you anymore. Suddenly she noticed a card attached to the bouquet of flowers. What is this? She opened it, looked at it and exclaimed. Is my invitation to join. New potential star exchange. Last year, there were also celebrities participating. This year will definitely be even more powerful. Her happily. Immersing herself in the names she idolizes. Ignore Li than Bu. Lu Hao Nian. Tran V Din translated Duong Ding sister Bok Glass Road. Suddenly she smelled a strange scent. Sniff sniff. She brought the bouquet of flowers closer and said. Let me smell it. He asked suspiciously what he was smelling. Her expression was half suspicious. Don't you think this flower is very fragrant? You're surprised. Asked what she meant by. It seemed like she realized the problem now. Say no. He said he couldn't smell anything after the door opened. Sao must be because he was surrounded by the scent of flowers. He said with a frown. So someone really thought about it. He might even be right here. Not far away. The delivery man's hat from earlier. Now thrown into the trash. That guy's identity was finally revealed. The door suddenly opened next door. Ji Na asked urgently. How come Li then shook his head sadly and replied. Couldn't find it because I was one step late. She worriedly said why did you leave so fast? It seemed he had already guessed why he was foolish enough to stay. Listening. He calmly replied. If he wanted to hide his identity from the beginning. It definitely won't let us find it easily. It's just that later. She pondered and spoke. See Ra cannot underestimate this hunter. But he said. Let's see. How did he know you were here? He replied he didn't know. But perhaps he also discovered the martial beast Ra. Once she followed the traces and discovered Ra. Suddenly she cried out. He said look at this hunter. Maybe you can watch the live stream? Or should I disguise myself? He suddenly asked. Disguised. Do you still know this secret technique? She said with a wink and a sly smile. The other secret trick is just makeup. Please wait for me a moment. Shu. Makeup moment. The new look is put on Ji Na. She used a little powder to pat her face and patted it. Then she applied a little lipstick. Two small lips pressed together to spread the color more evenly. Hair neatly tied. She quickly transformed into a medieval sister. Gorgeous and beautiful. Do you look like Lu Yifei? Li then looked stunned. Completely changed into someone else. She saw this expression of his and burst out laughing hi hi. She took it to the tram tree and told him. Please help me install this brooch. Let me still film. He received the brooch in awe. He slowly put the brooch in Ji Na's hair and inserted it here. Exactly as desired. She replied happily. Suddenly she was startled. She shouted wait he asked confused why. Suddenly he noticed something. He hurriedly. Asked her if she had seen anything. Just now when we opened the door. You took down the flower clips in your hair. You were right. I saw a little. She looked clipping Wa in her hand. Melancholy voice said he helped Chili wear the hairpin. What Ji Na saw was an image. Li then and Wai Wei talked. Under the light of the full moon. He held a flower branch and said. Did you know that these red beans are not only edible? But also written in poetry. The girl with clear eyes replied. You know. I picked a pair of red beans. He bowed his head as he spoke. Tears silently flowing. Li then said with a bitter smile. It's too tragic. I still like Lin Long Tu and Hong Do. Then Li then gently placed the flower branch in the girl's hair. I don't know if the brooch is beautiful or not. The girl happily replied. I know. You were a little curious when you heard what the girl said. What do you know? The girl looked straight into Li then's eyes and replied. I know it will definitely be beautiful when you install it. I also know.